Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to the EBM Scholars Show. As you can see here, this is EBM himself, Ernest Boniface Makurilo, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Please, before I continue, remember to subscribe. Today, I have some information about Green Card Lottery and eligibility, the countries which are eligible. Because we have seen in Africa, for instance, Nigeria is not eligible for the Green Card Lottery. So, what countries might be eliminated in future green card lotteries it's better to know yourself so that you can keep applying as soon as possible before your country is up for elimination up for not being eligible to apply for the green card lottery so before i continue remember to subscribe to the channel and share the video with other people so why some other countries are not eligible to apply for the green card lottery it's very simple nothing personal because some people they think that oh they are just eliminating us because maybe whatever they have other reason because this country is blah 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 you have all other preconceived ideas but any country with so many winners up to fifty thousand winners is taken out from the green card lottery to be eligible for the lottery uh, so the countries currently which are not eligible bangladesh is not eligible brazil canada china colombia dominican republic uh el salvador yeah uh guatemala now is not haiti is not uh it used to be a couple years ago india is not jamaica mexico uh, nicaragua pakistan uh peru used to be not but now is eligible uh philippines is not eligible uh south korea yeah uh united kingdom vietnam so there are so many countries and in africa only nigeria is not eligible the reason being we have so many people have won the lottery coming here so this is specific for countries in africa so i have the list here of some of the countries so as i said the lottery started back in 1990s around 1995 but the data i have here is just from 2008 to today up to 2018 the green card lottery so if you look at these numbers and i i also included nigeria within just within the past 10 11 years but nigeria was eliminated because they have already produced enough winners but if i do not know if i go back to this these countries are countries which they are, they are up very soon within two or three years most of these countries will not be eligible so if you haven't applied make sure that you apply before your country is not going to be eligible next time so for instance if you look on cameroon as i said nigeria is not eligible so cameroon uh, from 2008 to 2018 just within the period of 10 11 years so the number of winners is 25,400. So I put like 2008, but if you go be, 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 be below that, you'll see there are so many, still they have been winning. So if they've been winning, that means the number will be above 25,000, will be nearby 40,000. So they'll be nearby to reach 50,000 and they'll be eliminated in the future. So it cannot be, I don't know whether it will be the next coming green card lottery or two years down the road, whatever. But I just want to make sure that if you're from these countries, you have to make sure that you apply before your country is going to be up for not being eligible. Another country is the Democratic Republic of Congo. Yeah, so if you go for the Democratic Republic of Congo, just within the from 2008 to 2018, they have produced 22,041 winners already. So what about if you go back many years below that? That means the number will be uh, reaching 40,000. Okay, so Egypt. Egypt is the country with so many winners in Africa than any country. So if I give just a quick number. 2008 to going up, 3,310, uh, 3,003, uh, whatever, 3,651, 3,253, 3,000, the only two, uh, it, back in 2012, they got 2,000, but then 3,300, 3,500, 3,400, 2,800, then 3580 this last past year they won 4495 so the total number of winners from 2008 to 20 
18 is 36,764. That's very, very high. So if you look like years before, before 2008, Egypt, I believe it will be like next year might be the last year for them to be eligible to apply for the green card lottery. So it's going to be up for not being eligible. Then you go to Ethiopia. Their numbers is just like almost every year is just 3,000, 3,000, 3,000 winners, 3,700. It's a lot of winners. Last year, 4,496. So the total number of winners just within the past 10 years is 32,572. So Ethiopia might be very soon to be not eligible for application. So if next year Ethiopia is going to be there, make sure you apply. It might be your last, last chance, last opportunity for you to apply for the Green Card Lottery. I want to give you the heads up, not to be upset when this comes. Oh, they are just eliminating us because whatever. No, don't bring any other reason. It's because you have so many winners from your country. Then Ghana, the country with so many applicants, is Ghana now. Nigeria was eliminated from 2015 was the last time because all the time Nigeria uh, used to be having a lot of winners. Now, if you look at uh, the country of Ghana, it has so many winners. Uh, I mean, applicants, first of all, is the one leading. I can give the quick numbers of uh, applicants from, from Ghana. For instance, quick numbers from Ghana. Let me, uh, let me give just a quick number from my uh, information here. For instance, the year 2010, almost like 400,000. Uh, 2011, 400,000. Then 2012, 600,000. Almost is going... Then... It went to 20, let me go to again to 2013, Ghana had like almost nearby 900,000, almost nearby a million. 2014, it was 1 million. 2015, I mean uh, 2014, 2015 was 1.5 million applicants. Then let's go to again Ghana to, uh, to 2016, let's say, go, sorry. Uh, 2016, Ghana had, uh, okay, Egypt, uh, EFG, Ghana had 1.9 million, 1, 1 million, 1 million, 900,000, whatever, so it was almost nearby 2 million. 2017, 1 million, 0.953, almost 2 million. 2018, again, is almost 2 million. So Ghana is having the biggest number of applicants in the lottery, and they also, they get a lot of winners. So, within the past 10 years only, Ghana has produced 19,000 winners, 254. I haven't gone back from 2007, going below up to 1995. How many winnings Ghana had? So, Ghana, my colleagues from Ghana, please apply as soon as possible with the next lottery coming up because it might be like within the next two years, you might be not eligible to apply for the lottery. Again, Kenya, you are also going up because of Kenya. From 2008, Kenya is among the countries in East Africa. Apart from Ethiopia, Eastern Africa, Kenya is just like having a lot of applicants. And they have a lot of winnings. 2000 and whatever, 2000, around 2300 something, 2400, 2900, 2000 whatever. So last year... 2,900 something. So the total number of winnings within the past 10 years, Kenya alone had 19,169. That's a lot of winnings. But if you go back again from 2007, going back since the lottery has been started, it will be nearby 40,000. So Kenya, make sure that you keep your gears up. If you haven't applied for the lottery, make sure you apply for the lottery, next lottery. You never know how many lottery you'll be up to before you are not eligible. Then we have Morocco. Morocco is not, I mean, still, their winnings is just like for the past 10 years is 14,362. 14, yes, it's not that big, but I haven't got the data from 1995 to 2007. This is just 2008 to 2018 only. I haven't put the 2019 winners. Obviously, Nigeria, Nigeria alone, just for the period of 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just I want to give the perspective. Nigeria alone, apart Nigeria was eliminated in 2015, was their last lottery. But just for seven years only for Nigeria, because Nigeria each year they were having one point something million applicants, two million applicants. So the winners from Nigeria was a lot. Just within five seven years, they had nine almost twenty thousand winners. So if you go back to nineteen ninety-five. Nigeria was eliminated in 2015, so was not eligible. So those are the things you have to be up. So the countries in Africa which have to be careful, like UK, if you haven't applied, make sure that you apply. Because very soon, all these countries, Cameroon, DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo, Egypt, Ethiopia, Ghana, Kenya, Morocco, obviously Nigeria is already, you'll be following the path of Nigeria of not being eligible. I'm just trying to look for the numbers and predicting how many years you might be still eligible. Maximum will be three years. Three to four years. But some of the countries, I believe next year, you will not be eligible. That 2020 to apply for the DV 2022, most of you will not be eligible. But maximum, 2021, 2022, going for 2023, 2024, developed, you will be gone. You will not be being eligible. So what you need to do now, because we have a new regulations for the passport requirement in order to apply for the DV lottery, make sure you apply for the, uh, for the passport as soon as possible. You still have one year ahead to apply for the passport. So apply for the passport so that you need to have a passport before the next lottery. Because that will be eliminating a lot of people. Like this year, it is going to eliminate a lot of applicants. So... It's your opportunity to apply before you are up for the lottery. So, what is the... Your chances, I've put the video about chance of winning. But this is just to make sure that you know that there are countries which they are going to be up for not being eligible. These countries in Africa, I'll have a video explaining which countries in Europe. But in Africa, because... Africa is the one producing a lot of applicants than any other countries in the world. Like as I said, in 2008, almost 41% of applicants were from Africa alone. 2009, 30%, 34.4% of applicants were African. 2010, 62% of applicants were Africans. 2011, 35%. 2012, 28% were Africans. 2013, 63, almost 64% of applicants were African. Then 2014, 56% of applicants were African. Then 2015, 51% of applicants were African. 2016, 51.6% were Africans. 2017, 53.38 were Africans. And 2018, 52.49 were applicants were Africans. So Africans are the highest people applying for the lottery and they're the one winning a lot you can look like the 49 percent winners are african 51 percent 48 percent 40 39 44 40 so always each year an average 40 to 45 percent of winners are coming from africa so the countries with the larger number of winners up to 50,000 since the lottery started in 1995, 19 or whatever something, up to today they will be eliminated, they will not be eligible so that they can give chances to smaller countries, the countries with the lesser number of representatives in the United States of America. So, any question for me? You know what to do. Put your comment down here on the comment section and i'm going to put the links of what i'm talking about so that you can be able to determine when your country is up for in a, not being eligible so that you can apply and make sure that you are going to have opportunity to apply in the near future so that is what i want to share with you today uh, i know it's just lottery but it's better to look these analytics these numbers and be excited a little bit but don't start in too much thinking okay because this africa we are the one who produce a lot of winners next year i'm the one coming i'm going to live in chicago i'm going to live in la i'm going to live in new york city no don't start planning don't start finding the ticket don't start purchasing something no 
just get the numbers things of that nature yes this year will be more chances for people from africa for those who applied to have more chances of winning because half of the people who have applied if there are seven million people who applied last year just from africa alone maybe three, uh, three million will be the one applying so more chances will be there the percentage of winners will continue to be the same, around 40%, 45% from Africa, but the number of applicants will be less. So more chances if you applied. So all the best, everyone. Remember to subscribe to my channel, people. And remember also to click the notification bell and share the video. Even if your account is not eligible for the lottery, you can still share this video to others so that they, they can prepare for the next lottery. The end of one lottery, the opening of the next lottery. For those who applied this year 2019 for DV 2021, the results will be out on May 5th, 2020 and coming in the United States of America in the year 2021. For those who have won, for those who are going to win, all the best and welcome to the United States of America and all the best everyone and special at the end of this year 2019 going to 2020. I wish you all the best everyone. So goodbye, goodbye, goodbye and all the best. I appreciate your continued support to the EBM Scholars channel. Okay, let me go before wasting your time more and more. Okay, thank you. Goodbye everyone.